Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Acer Aspire 5 laptop. The exact model for this one it's an A514-53-56UF and that information can be found on the bottom sticker of the laptop right over the serial number right there. And in this video I'm going to go over how you can open it up and how you can upgrade the hard drive in here or remove the hard drive and what are the combination that you can have in here and what are the recommended ones and they do come shipped out with a 256 or 500 gig so let's go see uh, what we can do here just remember once you replace the hard drive in here or the ssd there will be no new operating system on the new ssd that you purchased you have to install the windows freshly installed i made a short video how to create your windows usb boot drive also, I made a video how to install the windows properly on your laptops. I'll leave those links in the video description. All right, to opening this one up, I'm gonna go over the tool. The only tool that you're gonna be needing, it's an iFixit screwdriver set. I'll recommend this one because they would last you longer than any other brand. These are metal S2 class steel. I really like them. And we're gonna be using a Philips number one. If you do get purchased the Pro Set, which I haven't, you know, with the Pro Set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, just grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. All right, with all this on hand, we're gonna power off, back up your files on external hard drive, and we're gonna remove the hard, replace the hard drive in here for a demonstration. On the bottom here, there's gonna be a whole bunch of screws. There's a two types of screws, short screws and the long screws. The short ones are the one in the front end of the laptop. So you're gonna remove these short screws. I put a little magnet here. It makes it easy for me to remove the screws. So remove the short screws and keep them in one pile. Next, we're gonna remove all the screws, the rest of the screw, including the one in the middle. This one is a sneaky heading one in there. Sometimes people don't see that and keep the rest in a secondary pile. Also, if you guys find my videos helpful helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. All right, once we remove all the screws, all you need to do is to grab your guitar pick. By the way, this is a 0.3 millimeters guitar pick, metallic ones. There are some really softer, which is 0.1 millimeter. You want to get yourself the 0.3 millimeters. Okay, you want to stick the guitar pick between the bottom cover and the palm rest, just like that. I'm sticking about one or two millimeters inside. And what you want to do, you just want to twist it. You just want to scoop up the bottom case. And you want to do this all around in the front end of the laptop, just like that. And you want to hear those click sounds, those are the clips that are getting loose, you're not breaking anything. Go all the way to the back corner. Do it right by the RJ45. And then put it down, grab the front end, wiggle it up, and it should release itself really easy. Once you remove here, and then we can see the whole thing inside here. Now, these laptops, they don't give you a caddy or adapter for a 2.5 inch hard drive in here, but there is a space for it that one, two, three, four screws for a caddy, which they don't provide you, but you cannot, you can't put it here. We're gonna go over here in a second. But right away, I can see the hard drive M.2 SSD right here. This is a PCI Express, so you can put an, you can put an NVMe right over here. Now, people always say, when you wanna remove this one, remove the battery, disconnect the battery. You don't need to disconnect the battery to do this. Absolutely not necessary. But for those people that are really paranoid, to disconnect the battery, you want to put your two fingernails at the side of the jack right there on the white jack. And you want to pull it towards the front, straight forward, and that's how you can disconnect the battery. But again, to upgrade, you don't need to. I'm going to put it on, squeeze it evenly in. You want to squeeze them really nice and tight, evenly. Don't put it sideways. All right, to remove the M.2 here, there's only one screw right here. You want to remove this screw. And you're going to see the M.2 just pops up right, right away. Now, to remove the M.2, it's really simple. All you need to do is to pull it back in the same direction that you it just came out, okay? 
And this one is a mix with an Optane and NVMe, which I don't recommend you. I recommend you guys to grab the Samsung 980 Pro. These are really durable, much, much durable than any other garbage that they comes with a laptop. Grab these ones, they will last you many years and they have lots of protection in here. So grab the one that you want for demonstration. I'm just gonna install this one. You wanna bring it down, make sure the notch on the SSD matches the notch right on the DIMM. So you wanna bring it down in 45 degree all the way inside the jack. And then you wanna bring it down, make sure it aligns on the screw hole and then tighten up the screw right there. Okay, and that's how you can install the M.2. Now, regarding this other space, empty space right in here, they do sell on the, sometimes on Amazon, I'll try to get the link for that, for the adapter to install a 2.5 inch SATA connector here. And the adapters are something like this one here. This one is a short one. So you can purchase your adapter and it goes right through the connector right in here. Is that short one? Let me get one. Uh, here, there's a longer one here. So you can put this one right through the jack, and then you close the jack, and in this end, you can connect a low profile up to two terabyte low profile. There's a one terabyte, two terabyte low profile mechanical one, or you can plug in a two terabyte SSD right in here, and you can place it right in here and connect the cable and squeeze the cable right there. But they haven't given you any caddy, so I would recommend you not to touch this part and these cables are really not, like you have to fold them down. It's a little more hassle to work in here, so leave this apart, don't do anything in there. Just put a bigger capacity up to two terabyte NVMe and call it a day. All right, once you have the new SSD in here, Next, what you want to do, you just want to simply put the cover right on top, you squeeze the corners, you squeeze the back, make sure you hear those click sounds. If you see anything opening, just pinch them and it's going to make a click sound. And the last thing would be to just put the short screws on the front end of the laptop and the long screws every on the rest of the screw holes. Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. If it did, you know what to do. If you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a video, co video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws.